five Christmas otters today on Barber Dave's Shaves and Sun. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome to our final shave of the week. Uh, it's Tuesday and we're at five Christmas otters. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. We'll show you in a minute. Um, this one's going to be kind of a quick shave today. Um, normally Mondays is my barber errand day, but unfortunately I had some other pressing issues yesterday. So today is that day. So we will be doing a DE shave. And the soap I chose today is a little bit earlier than I wanted to use it, but I'll probably use it a couple of times because, as I said, I did not go out and buy specific Christmas soaps uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I didn't think about this till too late. And secondly, I wanted to use soaps that I had that gave me, you know, memories of Christmas and stuff like that. So believe it or not, this year is the first year I've actually purchased a Christmas soap. I don't know. But uh, this is the second offering I have from this company. And uh, how I missed the boat on these, and I'm sure you guys can figure it out by the, uh, the fifth day of uh, the fifth shave of Christmas. And um, that's right. We're using Noble Otter. Tis the season. Now, what I love about this soap is, is it encapsulates everything of the Christmas season. And not only that, but if you can see that, this is a kind of a foil rendition. And those of you that use Noble Otter on a regular basis know that their graphic is just unbelievable. And this soap really just epitomizes the holiday season i mean it's 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 pine it's juniper it's cranberry it's uh, mistletoe it's you know uh baking spices it's a little bit everything and that's what i love about this so uh, i'm using the um, blackland osprey today with a persona blade still the same one that when i first purchased this uh, razor and as expected This Osprey is the gift that keeps on giving. Just a wonderful, wonderful so, uh, razor. Um, the one thing I notice about this soap is the evolution as you're shaving with it. Uh, it goes through, you know, basically the holiday season <laughs> on your face. And it's just wonderful. Uh, like right now. The primary scent that I'm getting is definitely a balsam pine fir type of uh, scent. But it's got all the underlying tones that make it feel like uh, like Christmas. Uh, while we're shaving, don't forget tonight, 6 p.m., Pacific drinks and days, please. If you haven't joined us yet, please do so. It's uh, all you have to do is type in drinks, the letter N, Dave, all together, and Dave's all together on YouTube, and that'll take you to our channel. Uh, if you're on my channel, uh, you've already probably gotten a notification of the live event because we are going to be doing something we haven't done in a while. We're going to actually simulcast this on all three channels because we have a huge reveal of a brand new item that we are very excited about. I did a top secret shave with it the other day. That's all I'll say. So join us tonight to find out more. You know, having the Osprey well, since it came out, and I don't have those dates right there, but I, I was one of the first, other than the beta testers, I was one of the first ones to order this razor. And uh, 
it's already become like the other Blackland offerings, just very intuitive. I do have it set on five and a half. And that's been working good. I may bump that up to six or maybe even six and a half uh, just to see. Because uh, I tested it at all the numbers and five and a half seemed to be the best. And it was equivalent to the Gillette Fatboy on seven to me. The only flaw, if you can really call it, call it that, because it really doesn't affect the shaving at all, is the uh, the depth of the numbers and the uh, the legibility of those numbers. And I know uh, Blackland addressed that in uh, comments that they, they've been getting. Uh, some of us have just taken some bronze paint to match that bronze insert and lightly put it on the inside. That works pretty good, uh, but apparently the second gen is going to be a little bit deeper engraving. Uh, whether it will be colored, I don't know. I don't think so. But I'm hoping that maybe down the line, Blackland will offer a, a head replacement, um, you know, for a, an option to purchase a, a, a head replacement to... Uh, Uh, to solve that issue. But like I said, it's not that big of a deal. Because once you set the razor, for the most part, you're leaving it alone. But as I said, the thing has become super intuitive. Um, and just a joy to use. The weight is perfect. But anyhow, so this was kind of a, a neat Christmas, uh, early Christmas present to myself. And because of it, I'm unloading quite a few DE razors. And speaking of, we're at 1183 at 1200. We give away this beauty. That's right, the Henson AL13 medium in this nice kind of bronzish color, and that'll be going out. Um, once we hit 1200, I'll talk about how you can win it. Also, as always, we'd love you to uh, come and join us on The Shaving Cadre. That's www.theshavingcadre.com. We are not the biggest uh, shave and gentlemanly form, but we do feel we're the best. Okay, that's pretty much it. I missed a spot. This blade might be going off a little bit too. I've had it in since, like I said, since the Osprey came in. And I pretty much shave with this razor quite a bit during the week. I try to do straight razor shaves for my videos. However, because of what I need to do today, I just I didn't have time. Because I'm also calling bingo on our current Christmas bingo game. Which is going quite well. Well, at least it's going quite well for me. Uh, no alum uh, effect at all. So again, the uh, Blackland Osprey with a Persona Lab Blue on 5.5. And I know I didn't talk much about the Christmas soap, but like I said, if, uh, if you have not gotten the Noble Otter uh, Tis the Season, uh, it is perfect. Like I said, I will be shaving with it again, probably Christmas Eve and probably Christmas Day. Um, unless I somehow am able to get Christmas Eve by Sterling and get that in. Um, but uh, my next week's video is uh, uh, probably going to be about the new product that we're unveiling uh, tonight. Um, the brush today was a Soren, uh, Sorrentino Luca Brasi, and this is done in Paducah, and I believe, I'm not sure, but anyhow, it's got a uh, a silver tip, uh, three-band silver tip, or two-band silver tip on the top. Just a wonderful brush. I do have the matching uh, straight razor for that as well. Just a perfect quick shave. Um, and again, the soap today was Noble Otter. 
tis the season. Probably the, in my opinion, I have not tried a lot of the other ones yet, but just a perfect Christmas soap. And nobody, and I don't care what anybody tells you, nobody beats their graphic design. It is just beautiful. Okay, what are we going to use for Witch Hazel today? Well, we're going to use Thayer's Lavender, because lavender goes with Christmas. And it does pair really well with this uh, with this soap. Not gonna not gonna do talc today. I know. Um, not gonna do any EDP or EDP today. I know. But we will be being very liberal with our splashing of the aftershave. And this is the matching aftershave, Noble Otters. Uh, Tis the season. And this really ramps up the. Uh, cranberry in this um, juniper. Uh, basically, it, it, I guess you could argue pine cone. Um, it almost has that potpourri um, type of scent. I mean, if you're walking through your house and you smell the fire burning and you see the Christmas tree with the lights and there's a mistletoe and there's a wreath and you walk through the kitchen and the potpourri is uh, bubbling on the stove. That's this. So that's Christmas. All right, guys, that's it. I certainly appreciate you joining us today uh, for this shave. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful week as we uh, rain in on um, Christmas. And I promise I won't sing to you other than what you saw earlier until the very end. Then I'm going to sing the whole song for you, and you'll be so excited. Once again, don't forget, 1,200 subscriber giveaway. We're 17 away or less, so um, please subscribe, like, hit all the buttons and all that other stuff. Also, come and see all my friends. Uh, I haven't posted that in a while, but uh, look back a couple. You'll see a whole bunch of people and take a look at all those creators. Uh, so anyhow, I'm Barbara Dave. This has been Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home for the fifth shave of Christmas. We'll see you all next week. Take care. Mm -hmm.